Hi, hey yo YouTube, our promo 951 again. This time I'm gonna give you my prediction for the ban list. I mean, I'm kind of worked up right now because I saw everybody else's ban list prediction. I find them, for the most part, kind of crappy, but whatever. Alright, anyway, um, first starting off with the ban cards. Mass Driver, it stops that stupid frog thing. Any deck that makes any kind of stupid loop it should get, I don't know, banned. Alright, anyway, so that stops that stupid frog deck, OTK thing. And then Cold Wave, of course, everybody knows what this does. This is like the killer point of X Sabers. It's not even necessarily Dark Soul that kills you, it's Cold Wave. Cold Wave, pull out your Hunlei, blow up their back row, and then just swarm them. It's too good to still be here. Alright, those two are my only band. This is my limited, limited pot of dualities coming out. Now, I'm just saying this because sticking with Konami's right now as it is, we are very limited in our draw power, so I don't know if they're going to want to change that up too much. But, I don't know, this one might be limited or semi. I don't think they're going to leave it at three. Dark Soul, I really do see going down to one just because Xavier has been topping everything. So, Dark Soul going to get hit regardless. Mac in a gear frame. Um, reasoning behind this one, Stratos, you know, for Elemental Heroes, does the exact same thing. And that's down to one. Uh, so, this one should be down to one because we all know you search out your Mac in the Fortress and you pretty much push as hard as you can with that. Then, Ronin Toting. Slow down frogs. I mean, the OTK thing I super hated. The stupid frog loop. But. I think Frogs as to a whole is actually a really good deck. I mean, combine it with Monarchs, you're good. It takes skill to play it. It's not just get your shit to the graveyard and then just loop it over. So, Running Tone and just hit one is still a good playable deck. Last one, Christia. Christia, because I really strongly feel Light Sworn, they're coming back. Not completely. I mean, I'm just going based on what Konami had brought back already. I mean, they're doing reprints of Dark Armed. They reprinted Mizuki, they reprinted Judgments. They're, I honestly think they're trying to even out the game a little bit, give the game more diversity so they get more money, so people will go out and buy more packs to get these cards because there are so many different decks to play. I mean, nowadays everybody just focusing on X Savers, Infernities, so they're decks they want to play. So, of course, all their money is going towards like two booster packs which had all the cards. So, I feel like they're going to try to even it out as much as possible, and Christia is a walking oppression with 28 and like all this other shit so I really think it's gonna get limited to one alright semi limited yes archfiend yeah I run my infirmities I know how this works I don't see this getting down to one because that's just retarded you kill the deck completely you hit it with a DD crow game over I mean that's pretty much it and then launcher to two again it will slow it down, it won't kill it completely especially if they do limit the Archfiend or semi-limit it to two the deck isn't going to be super OTK but it's still going to be playable you can't kill off Infernities completely since they just built it you can't take out Archfiend, you can't take these two down to one just because if you think about it, Infernity has no good cards every card we have is like zero zero attack that's pretty much it, we rely on the Synchro in so if you get rid of Launcher, oh excuse me, or Infernity Archfiend, the deck's dead. It's dead. Can't do anything with it. Machina Fortress is going to semi. Well, as I said, this is a big beater. The Machina deck combine this with Solidarity or anything really, and you're pretty much screwed. And the rate that they can recycle this and bring it to their hand, it's retarded. So I say take it down to two, which will still make it very playable, but slow it down a little bit. Fault roll again, another X Saber. Well, you know, the whole Fault roll loop thing. Everybody knows this. X Sabers are everywhere, so slow them down. Not killing them again. It's just like Infernity, they're going to keep it alive. They ain't going to kill it completely, not taking it down to one. Battle Fader, Semi. Just because Trag and Gores are down. But the good thing about Battle Fader is it has no attack. It has no way of defending itself or anything. I feel Gores and Trag are down to one because they can fight back. Fader is just there. So, I really think Fader might just go to two just because they're reprinting it. So, they're going to. I don't think they'll take it down to one. 
but I don't think they'll leave it at three. So, and it is getting the reprint. So, Caius. Uh, I love Caius, but he is the best monarch by far, hands down. He takes shit out of play. Once stuff's out of play, there's no coming back from it. I mean, honestly, all the decks nowadays rely on your graveyard, and if the card's not in your graveyard, you're screwed. Consecrated Light. Semi. Just because, again, I really do feel Light Sworn's coming back, and with this being Light, and all the dark decks out there nowadays, it's gonna suck, and I think they're gonna do something with Dark Armed. I don't think they're gonna bring it back to two, but they're gonna be more decks based around Dark Armed. They're gonna bring back zombies, or I think they're gonna bring back zombies, and that one fucking light bulb is gonna kill everything. So I say at least take it down to semi. Alright, and then this is what I think they'll bring back Destiny Draw. I'm pretty sure everybody agrees with me there. They reprinted it, they reprinted it malicious as common so they really want everybody to have this card so I feel they're gonna t kick it back up to two Mizuki's they reprinted it it was like a forty dollar card and now it's a seven dollar card again they're making it cheaper so everybody has it Necro Gardena that's part of my whole little what Light Sworn thing I have going I'm pretty sure they're gonna kick it back up just because Light Sworn's dead without it they have nothing to stall out with Emergency Teleport, just because they reprinted Dad, and Emergency Teleport is like one of the fastest ways to get Dark Monsters out there. So, maybe like a really, really distant cousin of Teledad deck, but uh, it's very distant, but I don't think it's going to hurt many people. Charger Light Brigade, I think they're going to bring it back to 2, I think they're going to leave Lumina at 1, so because Lumina is too damn good. Charge is good, but it's not like, amazing. Again, they get a Surge, but... You're able to play around it more than two Luminas bringing everything back from the grave. Um, then this is the maybe list that I think they might limit. I'm not sure. Cards for Black Feathers. And, well, let me just go and get to the next one. Cards for Black Feathers and Solar Recharge. Just because those two decks right now have, like, the most draw power. You have Solar Recharge, which is, like, more broken than Cards for Black Feathers. Just because you get your ditch, you get your mill and then you get two cards so and then cards for black fairy that goes out of play so i see solar recharge being more off, like going to semi but i don't know still maybe Ryko, everybody's running it it's everywhere you can't get away from it and yeah then the card that i really don't think are making the list black whirlwind people talk a lot of shit about black wings but you take this out black wings are dead and they don't want to kill any decks, especially with the new support coming out later on this year, or it might be next year, I'm not sure. It's in the Stardust Dragon 1 Excel Synchro guy. Okay. Dark Arm, they ain't touching it. They just reprinted it. It's not getting banned. It's not going anywhere. This Yari. Um, again, Glad Beast. They're still good. They're still very playable, even with this card at 1. They still top. They still, people still run it. I don't see why I mess with it. Lumina, as I said, I really don't think they're bringing it back. Ne People have been talking about Neil Spacey and Grand Mole coming back. Do you guys know his effect? That's amazing. He can bounce back a Synchro. No problem. Why would you want this at more than one? I don't know. It was just retarded and it pissed me off. I'm like, really? Really? You guys are fucking idiots. And last, Rescue Cat. He's not going anywhere. There are too many decks that rely on him. They just reprinted him as Super. If you check eBay, the Super is going for like 50 to $70. Konami's going to make too much money on this, so I don't see them hitting it at all. So, that's just my personal opinion. And that's it, you guys. So, if y'all have any kind of complaints about my list, feel free to leave a comment below. Below. I mean, everything I have here based on not me losing to a deck, but actual skill and knowledge of how to run a business and how to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I don't know, I mean, you guys can complain and bitch about the list, but I'm pretty sure Konami wants to even everything out just to make more money off of it. Alright, well, leave a comment and tell me what you guys think. Later.